Hey guys, Late Boy Scout here, and I want to just take a second to introduce what you're about to see. In my review of Spyderco Paramilitary 2, I had a lot to say about this knife. So much so, in fact, that I had to cut several minutes out of the long review that I shot in order to make it watchable. But there was one little bit that I thought was still worth watching, and that is the following comparison between the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and a handful of other knives. Stick around to see that. How about some competitive blades? Some knives that compete with this one. What is there out there? I showed you the Rat Model 1. Uh, for size, for usability, for I guess just, um, what do you want to call it, deadliness? I don't know, whatever. It's pretty much, you know, it's around that. It's around the same size and you know, you can kind of use it in the same way. Good finger choil on it, good, uh, you know, aggressive, semi-aggressive, but it works for me, jimping. On the back of the blade. It's a tough knife. I believe it's very tough and uh, I, I like it. And the price is what, like 35? Less than 40 for that? Sub 40, I'm pretty sure. Cold Steel Lawman, talk about coating that doesn't hold up. Holy. Okay, you know, hopefully Cold Steel's new coating, I can't remember what they call it. Hopefully it's better than this. I hope to get a hold of a couple of Cold Steels uh, in the near future, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if the coating holds up well. I mean, yeah, it's night and day, night and day there. What else have we got? How about the cold, the, uh, cold steel, the uh, bird, that's what it's called, bird Caracara 2. You know, again, as far as just reach, you know, just reach and um, I wouldn't put it on par as far as toughness with the uh, paramilitary 2, but then, then again, maybe so. It's a good backlock. You know, backlocks are generally pretty tough. It's good and, uh, you know, nice stainless steel liners in it, somewhat milled out. A bit heavier, I think. What did I say this came in at? I don't think I told you. It's um, sub four ounces, if I'm not mistaken. I'll bring that up real quick. I think it's, uh, yeah, 3.75 ounces. Outstanding weight for that knife. Outstanding. I believe this is about four, you know, probably in the four range. I think this is five plus, if I'm not mistaken. Spider Co. Tenacious, classic blade. Everybody loves this knife, right? How does it compare? It's very, very close in size. Very close in size. Steel is 8CR13 MOV on the Tenacious. The G10 is not quite as grippy, but brand new. It might be better. You know, this has had a lot of uh, use. Um, outstanding blade shape. Outstanding sharpness. Full flat grind on this thing. Uh, liner lock, you know. Similar in weight, almost on par as, uh, for weight. Uh, price for this is 35-ish. I didn't mention that this is around 32, 35 also. Lawman in the 50 to 60 range. You know, all of these are going to be more affordable than your Paramilitary 2, which is going to be over 100, 110-ish, maybe 120, depending on where you pick it up. Okay? So, you know, different versions of it will come in at different prices. The coated costs a little bit more. And maybe this... Uh, uh, scale type will cost more. I don't think that's right, though. Anyway, uh, you can also get it in, I think, a few other steel types, maybe one or two other steel types. But the point I want to make here is that there are definitely other blades out there that um, compete with that paramilitary, too, for size, for just sheer you know, amount of blade that you get and usability. So if all you're looking for is a long, sharp piece of steel and you don't want to spend a lot of cash, yeah, the Paramilitary 2 has got a lot of competition. But if you're looking for something tough, quality, USA made, uh, there aren't a whole lot of knives better than this one. That's my opinion anyway. Thanks for watching this comparison and uh, this little addendum to my review of the Paramilitary 2. I'm the late Boy Scout. See you on the next one.